Do you need perfectly steady hands to become a neurosurgeon or a spine surgeon? Let's talk about it. When people think about spine surgery, they imagine working next to the spinal cord with zero margin for error. But needing steady hands doesn't mean that your hands never shake or that you're born with this robotic precision. And nobody starts with the perfect technique. As residents and fellows, we practice the basics, tying knots, suturing, placing screws, using drills over and over and over again. Again. So do you really need steady hands to become a spine surgeon? Yes, but it's not about perfection. It's about control, focus, and really a commitment to your craft. And if you got that, your hands will follow. So just like an athlete who trains their muscle memory, a surgeon trains their motor skills. Over time, your hands will become even steadier and your movements will become more precise. And that builds your confidence. You're also constantly interpreting anatomy, adjusting your plan, and working as part of a larger team. 